For today's activity, I'm going to teach you how to lift a fingerprint off of the surface. We have three types of fingerprints, latent, which we'll be collecting today, patent, and plastic. Latent fingerprints are invisible to the naked eye and need to be developed so you can see them in order to collect them. Patent fingerprints are in a substance like blood. Plastic fingerprints are in a three-dimensional substance like chocolate or putty. For the instance today, we're going to be fingerprinting this desk area. So we're going to be using magnetic fingerprint powder and a magnetic fingerprint wand. I'll show you how the wand works. You just have the end depressed, then it will pick up the magnetic fibers. If you pull on the end, it releases the magnetic fibers. So we'll pick up some fibers. And we're just gently going to fingerprint the surface that we're interested in. Keep in mind that the wand itself should never actually touch the table. It doesn't need to. We just want the fibers, the magnetic fibers, running over the print. We are going, we're going to clean this up a little bit before we actually collect it. Interestingly enough about fingerprints, fingerprints are made up of three things, sweat, oil, and protein. It's the oil in your fingerprints that the magnetic fibers are actually clinging to. There's many different types of fingerprint powder and tape, and the type that you use is really going to be dictated by the surface that you're printing. The tape that we're using today is called Diff Lift. What you're going to want to do is fold the end over slightly so you have an area to grab. And what I like to do is I like to look at the fingerprint that I've developed and then judge how much tape I'm actually going to need. So in this case, I'm really only going to need about two to three inches. You can see the print on the table. I'm just going to hold the end that I've folded over, sit right down and smooth the edges down. The tape can move sometimes, so I do like to hold the corner as I smooth the tape out. We'll leave that for just a second and grab what we call a lift card. This is the back of the lift card. The front is glossy. The glossy part's where you want to put your fingerprint lift. The back is where you can draw a diagram of where you remove the lift from, and also it has many lines so you can put your case information. So I'll set the card down. The print is nice and smoothed out. I'm going to slowly peel back, grab the side, and just lay the tape right down on the back of the lift card. And again, smooth it out. So now you can see the latent fingerprint that we've 